getting old has taught me the compromise is the best part of a relationship. I think compromise is really fun to, to navigate and negotiate, but like when I first joined Twitch, I really did think that like what people needed to get better at doing is compromising with each other. If I could help people like realize that agreement should be the goal and to work towards where they could agree, things would go better. But, you know, as I've quickly learned from for one reason or another, whether it's to make more money or have more interesting conversations or to be entertaining or yada yada, it doesn't really work like that. It could work in one on ones, but it certainly can't work in like group conversations and whatever. Compromise is something I love. I love compromise. Like, I love when I can argue with somebody and we can land on some kind of common ground. Like, that's my whole goal. One time, Luxifer, Wicked Supreme and I got into a pretty heated back and forth and it was about consent so it was sparked by destiny's tweet about um you know so we got into this big argument and um lux is basically on one polar end of the spectrum and i would say it's supreme is on another polar end of the spectrum relative to the conversation and um it was so fun to be able to find some in between um like supreme had brought up loki's wager which is something like you can take my head, but not an inch of my neck. And so Loki's wager is about where does the head stop and the neck begin? It's difficult to place like a, an accurate bit of that. We can't really take Loki's head because we can't agree on where the neck stops and the head starts. And so they got into an argument about this and it came down to that where like, where does the consent stop or where does the sexual assault start? Or, and, and they couldn't figure that out. And so the clear compromise in a situation like that is to create a zone in the middle and then to agree on what the boundaries of the zone in the middle are and what the zone in the middle constitutes in the larger conversation. You know, Loki's wager is meant to be like something that you pick up on and then you are supposed to jump very quickly to the solution being a neutral ground in between. That's my opinion. Um, but we weren't getting there and I was able to help us get there, you know, and that is a super good feeling when we were able to finally agree to disagree uh, insofar as like agreeing that there is some middle area here and in that no man's land, we are never going to agree on like where this starts and this stops and it's really it, neither of us are good at like communicating that necessarily and it's going to come down to our previously held beliefs about this but i can say that like we both agree that that no man's land ends here that this is not okay and we can both agree that that no man's land ends here where it is okay right and if we can just focus on where we agree in terms of defining where the no man's land is it does not matter if we agree in the in-between on the details of the no man's land itself what is most important is that we agree on where the boundaries to that zone exist because by zoning it out, we can zone out an area of the conversation that we no longer need to discuss. We don't care about the zone in the middle. To lose all of our time fighting for the zone in the middle is a waste of it. So instead, let's focus on defining where the outer boundaries of that thing are, and then we'll encapsulate that, set it to the side, and agree to disagree on what happens in the middle. And that's totally cool, you know? But so many moderators, so many people that host conversations, or so many people that engage in conversations are not looking for these sorts of solutions they're not interested in them in the same way that i am and that was a disappointing thing to learn about on twitch but like that's i don't know that that's just my little rant on compromise it's a vortex no one is immune from even books isn't going to get nearly as much attention reviewing positive agreeable discussions that do occasionally happen on twitch i completely disagree at this point in the few conversations i've covered where i've praised the people they've done just as well as the ones where they're bad i just think that more people are aware of the bad ones because that's what gets press but honestly the people that show up to this channel i think they equally enjoy if not enjoy more the times when I can gush about how good a conversation is going. Like when we talked about in range TV and we talked about Ian from forgotten weapons talking with the other dude who's the co-host of in range TV and kind of having this back and forth about bull pups and uh, what is a good bull pup and does that exist? And uh, what is the purpose of a bull pup rifle? When we were viewing the back and forth between these people and how it's happening and I was able to be really happy about that, I think that's positive. Same with looking at a YouTube video like this one that does a really good job at communicating their ideas. I think that's like another, I, I don't know. I'm not exactly doomer on the idea that they're not marketable. I just don't think that people try.
Now I can see why Book likes Destiny. Sociopaths together strong. What 